Well, hey, good morning, all. Dana here, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dana, and I focus on reselling content for eBay, Amazon uh, mostly, but all the other major platforms as well. And uh, I like to share what I sold uh, so I can hopefully teach some new people uh, things to look out for, and uh, maybe sometimes things not to look out for uh, if I have bad buys, etc. But uh, anyways, uh, today is a wet sold video, and uh, I've got eight orders going out today, uh, seven on eBay, one on Amazon, and uh, maybe a few more that'll pop in at the end if they pay for them. I accepted a few offers this morning. Um, but they haven't paid yet, so they are not included in this video. Uh, but anyways, without further ado, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Check the links down in the description uh, if you want to support a guy. Uh, I'm sitting at 149 subscribers, and uh, I'm hoping this video helps me pop that 150, and uh, we move on from there. So anyways, again, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, let me show you what's sold. All right, let's start with uh, Amazon. I picked this up last week uh, at a yard sale. Uh, it's brand new sealed uh, pocket poker, and uh, I paid a dollar for this, and it sold for $59.99, 59 $59.99. And uh, there was a whole bunch listed on Amazon uh, from anywhere from $25 all the way up to like $200. And uh, the cheapest new one was listed uh, at $72 or something like that, which I thought was crazy. Uh, and I probably could have got a little more, but that one was at Amazon. I'm fulfilling it myself. To have a chance, I figured $59.99 was double uh, some of the lower used ones. But it was $10, $15 cheaper than some of the other new ones. And it sold. So within a week, a dollar flip into $59.99. Uh, very uh, happy with that. Sealed uh, handheld electronics are huge bolos. If you get those, I would have got $20 for this on eBay. Uh, even brand new, I would have got like 20 bucks. So flipping it to Amazon, much uh, smarter uh, choice for me. The next thing on here is this Craftsman router. It's brand new in box. It, the top of the box was kind of jacked up, so I stuck this sticker on it and uh, pictured it that way. But anyways, it's brand new in the box, and uh, I paid... Well, geez, I should adjust my buy cost. Well, I've already done my number, so I'm not going to adjust it. But I paid $10 for this at a yard sale, and uh, it was brand new in the box. And uh, I got it with a Dremel. And uh, inside this box, there happened to be a set of chisels and some uh, sanding discs as well that I didn't even know that were in there. I already sold the chisels for $29.99, um, so really my buy cost is zero on this, but I went ahead and put the whole uh, $10 buy cost on this, um, and I sold that for $49.99, and it is going overseas. So international shipping, if you guys do not have international shipping turned on, uh, I would really suggest it. Even if you just go through uh, the global shipping program, basically what I do, I'm going to pack this up and I'm going to send it to turn around. I'm going to pack that up. I'm going to send it to Kentucky. That's it. That's the way uh, global shipping program works with eBay. You send it to Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky receives it. Then they repackage it, and then they ship it off. And what they do is to get cheaper rates, uh, they bulk everything into pallets and uh, ship them all at once. So it might take a hair longer to get to uh, your customer, but really not that uh, much longer than if you shipped it yourself. So, um, But anyways, once it gets to Kentucky, they repack it and they ship it. If anything happens in transit past the time that it gets to Kentucky, you still get paid and they cannot leave you a negative review. If they never get it, you get paid, they can't leave you a negative review. They get it and it's damaged, it's broken, it's in a million freaking pieces, you get paid, they can't leave you a negative review. And you don't have to refund it because eBay was the ones who repackaged it, they refund the buyer. Turn on global shipping, I promise you will see more sales. That is my 11th global shipping program sale of the week. 11. Um, and I wouldn't have had those sales, right? So I would not have those sales uh, if I don't have that uh, global shipping turned on. So anyways, turn it on. It is Christmas in April. So my next two things are Christmas. Uh, if you watched my video on 
oh geez, yesterday, maybe? Uh, I picked up, um, there's cardboard on these. Anyways, I picked up a bag of uh, cross-stitch kits from Goodwill, and I paid $3.49, but then I used a 20% off coupon, so really I paid like $2 and change. Um, and I got six listings out of that bag. So of the six listings, this was the first one to sell. And I lotted these together because they were basically the same thing. Just this one's Christmas is love. This one's Merry Christmas. But it's the same kind of framed kit. And the other ones all were at least a little different. However, they were all Christmas uh, still. But anyways, this pair uh, I have 50 cents into. And actually, no, I put a dollar by cost on these. Uh, it's less than that. But I put a dollar by cost on this pair, 50 cents a piece. Uh, is what I put on it and those sold for $19.99 plus shipping and those sold to the second uh, viewer it only had two views within like 15 minutes and it sold immediately so I probably priced it a little bit too low I priced all the other ones individually at $19.99 and up and uh, I'll wait a little bit longer to sell those but I'm happy with a dollar into $19.99 uh, any day of the week next one is this tree here um, huge bolo for ceramic light up Christmas trees. Uh, let me see if we can get the whole thing in view there a little bit. Um, this guy sold for $74.99 in freaking April. And the star, let's see what that, yeah, maybe. I don't know if it's going to focus. There you go. The tip of the star is busted off, and that was disclosed, and I took close-up pictures of that, so the buyer knows that. Um, but anyways, there's a light inside of it. Let's see if I can't break it. That lights up, and then it lights up all the uh, little lights inside of there. But anyways, I'm going to put it back on there without breaking it. $74.99. I paid $30 for this at an estate sale about a month ago. Uh, I had eight watchers. I priced it at $99.99. Uh, and I figured I would sit on it till Christmas if I had to because I know it's worth money. And then I got an offer of $74.99 and I went ahead and took it because um, the other $15 or $10 or whatever by holding out all the way till Christmas is not worth it. I'm going to take my money and I'm going to run. Uh, I sold another transmission manual. This guy sold for $28.04. I took a best offer on it. Um, I do have best offers turned on on a lot of these just because I have so little into them. Most of them are still selling at full price, but this one I paid 65 cents for, and I sold it for $28.04 on that one. And uh, if you haven't uh, seen my video on that, I'm not gonna talk about it, because I have hundreds of these. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch, and there's a bunch, and I still have some more that I haven't listed. Um, but anyways, uh, watch my video, uh, how I turned $120 into uh, $3,000 in listings, something like that. Um, this is that item. Cindy Lopper, uh, 12 Deadly Sins. I got this from that private uh, Facebook Marketplace pick the other day. And uh, this is brand new sealed. I don't know if my camera will focus anyways, but it's brand new sealed. It's basically um, just a uh, DVD of her performing some songs and uh, 80 minutes long and sealed. And I listed it for $14.99 free shipping. It will go media mail, so this will cost me $2.89 to ship. Uh, and I got an offer of uh, $10. And I had uh, sent offers to like four other people already that had for $12.99. And none of them took it at $12.99. So when I got the $10 offer, I said, you know what? I have basically a quarter into this. Um, and at $2.89 uh, shipping, and I'm just going to throw it into a uh, bubble mailer screw it. I'm just going to take it and run. And uh, I'm already hundreds into the profit on this sale. So uh, I am fine enough with that. These wrenches. Uh, so I've talked about this in a few videos, but let's see if I can uh, uh, maybe show it off here. So something to look for is USA, the letter V or uh, the V uh, like this. So you can see that's V with one line. There's V with two lines. There's the V, uh, there's the V, I think some of these are actually stamped double V, anyways, V. So that is the vintage ones, so you can see right here, 
Anyways, these are vintage Craftsman wrenches. I bought these at an estate sale, and I paid 25 bucks for these. I bought one lot for 15 and one lot for like 10 bucks, and I decided to put them all together. And I don't think I did it uh, accurately enough. Uh, or maybe it was too big a lot, or I have too many different kinds because there's just regular open box wrenches, um, there's um, closed box wrenches, there's there's too many different kinds in here, and so as a result, I didn't get as much money as I probably could have, and uh, I was actually planning on taking them down after this weekend and relisting them into three smaller lots, and it went ahead and sold. Um, I, I got an offer of $50 on them. I had them listed at $69.99, and uh, I got the offer of $50. I paid $25 bucks for the pair, and so I figured I'm doubling my money. The buyer's paying shipping, and uh, I can get a an item out of the way um, that's always a good thing so you know everybody's got bills to pay and I'm included in that and uh, that $25 will pay for you know I don't know what that's gonna pay for but it's gonna pay well maybe my uh, gas bill all right so this just paid my gas bill and then you know a quarter tank of gas or something like that this just paid the other uh, tank of gas and this just paid for my lunch when I'm out sourcing and you know it is what it is so I am happy with it I would have been much happier with probably a hundred is what I should have got for that um, if I parted it out into smaller lots and uh, it is what it is the last thing, I already packed it up, so I can't really show you. Uh, maybe I'll throw it up on the screen, but that big box right there is a Sony mini disc player. I sold another one, um, and I have no more of those left. Uh, well, kind of. I've got one coming back because the buyer says it doesn't work, uh, even though I know it works. So I'm going to have to have that tested and make sure he's not doing a switcheroo or something. But I should have it up on the screen right now. And uh, this one sold for $174.99, and I paid... Uh, twenty dollars for it, so one seventy uh, ninety nine is what I got for that guy, and I paid twenty bucks. So uh, I am happy with that. And uh, let's see, I'll put you on the side here, so I should have some room up on the side to uh, throw some comps. Um, anyways, total sales for today. Um, this is today, and then uh, part of the previous day because uh, I didn't ship anything out on Tuesday. So this is Tuesday's sales and uh, Monday night. But anyways, $467.99 is my total sales, $467.99. My total buy cost, what I spent to buy the items that I sold, it's actually less because if you remember uh, the whole router thing, but I already put these numbers down. I ain't changing them. I'm doing this in one take. Uh, $88.15. Yeah, $88.15. Uh, is my buy cost. That's what I paid to buy all this stuff um, to then be able to resell it for that uh, 467. My net after subtracting the buy cost from these total sales, $379.84, uh, $379.84. Obviously, there's the 15% eBay fees. Uh, Amazon takes roughly around that same kind of thing. So back out 15% of 467. Uh, four sixty. That's about three hundred and ten dollars in profit. Then, so um, hey, nobody's asked me yet, but uh, I've said it before. If somebody wants me to break down the exact actual numbers or pretty dang close, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, do you want to hear more about the items? Do you want to hear more about the sales? Uh, do you want to hear more about why I bought the item that I bought? Um, leave me a comment, right? Uh, do you think I talk too much? Do I ramble? Uh, do you want to have a faster what sold video? Uh, again, leave it in the comments. I'm looking to uh, uh, see what my viewers are interested in. And uh, again, like I said, I'm only at 149 subscribers and uh, I would sure love any help that I can get uh, liking the videos, uh, making a comment or disliking the video if you hate my video. Uh, all of that uh, helps eBay to potentially show me off to other people. Um, but so those are awesome things. And the other thing, if, you know, if you enjoy any of my stuff, share it in a group, share it on your Facebook page, share it on Instagram and say, hey, go check this guy out. That would really mean a lot to me and uh, help me uh, grow my uh, uh, viewer base. So I think I just hit, uh, um, 
this is like video 45 or something. So I'm going to be uh, popping up my 50th, 50th video soon. And uh, I'm putting out a lot of content and uh, I haven't promoted anything yet. None of my uh, videos have been paid advertised or anything. So uh, I'm not mad that I'm uh, uh, only at that 149. Uh, but eventually uh, I want to keep growing. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe and uh, tell a friend. So anyways, have a great day. Enjoy. Peace.